Uh, welcome everyone, this is my final 2000 election prediction, so let's start. For the safe states, for uh, Vice President Al Gore, uh, Hawaii would be there, uh, New York, some polls do have this as likely D due to Bush's compassionate conservatism, but I think safe D, uh, Connecticut, the home state of Joe Lieberman, uh, that should not be a, a problem for the Democrats in 2000. Rhode Island, Massachusetts, uh, New Jersey, uh, it's a bit tough, I can't deny. Oof. But RCP, uh, Real Clear Politics, does say it's going to be, it's not gonna be in contention in 2000, so I'm gonna trust their word. And we cannot forget about DC, uh, yeah, easy win for Gore there, and that's it for the safe states for Gore, and let's go to the safe states for Texas Governor. Governor uh, Bush, so uh, Texas will go in a landslide margin for George W. Bush. I mean, he's the governor of the state and he's gonna win here big in 2000. Well, states like uh, Oklahoma, Kansas, Utah, Idaho, Wyoming, Montana, North Dakota, South Dakota, Nebraska will all go to George W. Bush, the son of George H. Walker Bush, uh, from Missouri. It should be safe, uh, Alabama as well, Georgia, some polls do have this as likely R, but like 11% but I think George, I think he's gonna win there by a safe margin, barely. South Carolina, no problem there for George Bush and Dick Cheney. North Carolina, real clear politics, does say it's going to be a George W. Bush win by 12%, so just barely a safe state. Uh, we can't forget about Alaska, Alaska, no problem there, uh, Kentucky, which was a Bill Clinton state, uh, back in 1996, would actually go by a safe margin for George Bush, according to the polls, Indiana's, uh, goes for Bush as well. And yeah, that's it for the safe states for both parties, so let's go to the likely states, but before that, let's go look at the polls. So, here's the polls for 2000 by uh, ABC, CNN, uh, MSNBC, and uh, some other pollsters. You can clearly see that it's very close. Uh, some people do have Gore underperforming George Bush, but overall three out of the four do have George Bush uh, barely above uh, Vice President Gore. And now back to the likely states. Uh, ooh, this is a tough one, but... Let me check what RCP says on these states. So this is RCP and these are their final calls for the election of 2000. So let's go. Well, where's Illinois at? Illinois, there we go. So Illinois, they do reckon Illinois will actually be a Bush win by 2%. So I, I, I can't agree with that because look at all these polls. They do say it's going to be around 5% on average. And it's really tough for me to make a call here, but I think uh, Illinois will go to Gore uh, by a likely margin. Still, a lot of polls do say it's going to be around five to ten percent on average, so it shouldn't be a Bush win. But RCP does say it will be a lean D uh, Bush win in 2000. But I mean, it could happen. But because of things like, uh, you know, Bush's DUI, I think that will that did hurt him in the polls quite a lot. I think Illinois is not in play in 2000. Maybe in the future, we will see. Well, for more than uh, states like Mar Maryland and Delaware. So yeah, here in Maryland, uh, uh, they reckon actually that Gore will barely win here in Maryland by only 2%. I don't know where they're getting these numbers, but I mean, these polls on that on aggregate would be like 8.5 and I think uh, it's going to be a likely D1 uh, for Gore I think uh, he won't lose this state unless Bush does amazing with uh, with suburban voters which could happen and I think what's happening is actually they're they're thinking that uh, Ralph Nader who's running as a nominee for the Green Party will split the votes quite a lot that's what I'm guessing at uh, well, for Delaware, they think this is going to be a Bush win by 4%, although I do think it's still going to be a likely D win for Gore here. I mean, they think uh, Illinois and Delaware will go for George 
Bush himself, but I doubt that. Most polls say it's gonna be uh, Gorwin still. And now for Vermont, uh, this is a state that back in the back in the day during uh, you know Bush's father uh, term, uh, George H. Walker Bush, this was really Republican-esque in many ways. But now in the modern day, it has turned a really really to the left recently. Uh, maybe Bush could win here because of his father and stuff. That could happen, but I still think uh, it's going to be a likely D win for Gore here. And I think that's it for the Gore state. So let's go to Bush. For Bush, uh, Arizona will be an, a relatively comfortable win for him. Uh, the polls do say it's going to be either a safe margin or a likely margin by cl almost close to 10%. Colorado, I think the college educated voters perhaps will go more for Bush. It's uh, Colorado is a decent uh, Republican state that even Bill Clinton was not able to capture in 1996 and I don't think it's gonna turn to the left in the near future. While for Virginia, Virginia, uh, it's a decent southern state. Uh, George Bush, you know, he was he's a decent pick for these southern states here and uh, he does have that southern appeal to counter Al Gore's uh, stuff, so I think Virginia will be a likely R victory for George Bush here. While for West Virginia, let's see here. I agree quite a lot with RCP. They, they think that uh, it's going to be a George Bush win by five, and I actually do think it's going to be around four to six percent. Uh, there's more polls out there that do show this. As a likely our victory in a flip for uh, George Bush, especially because of Al Gore's uh, stance on environmental issues. I think the coal miners and all the coal stuff will hurt uh, Al Gore. And don't forget about Ralph Nader as well. So, And before I forget, for Louisiana, so RCP says uh, Louisiana will be, shouldn't be contested at all. So Louisiana could even be safe, but I'm gonna say, uh, likely are because of how close it is to Bill Clinton's home state. So that's it for the likely states, but let's uh, talk about Bill Clinton. So in my opinion, one of the biggest mistakes uh, Al Gore is making is uh, not sticking with Bill Clinton. I mean, you can see here his approval rating is quite good. Here's his, uh, his approval and overall it's looking quite good. I don't know why Gore's trying to, you know, not use this to his advantage. I know that Clinton had his uh, impeachment and uh, Monica Lewinsky scandal, but he's still quite popular. So uh, we will see if that if he knows something that we don't. Kind of looks kind of similar to why he picked Joe Lieberman. I still don't get why he picked him. I mean, I know he picked him because he voted to impeach Clinton. I think, but yeah, we will see. Maybe he knows something that we don't. And now uh, for the lean states. Uh, let's go to Nevada back in 1996. Nevada was already very close. And I think that uh, Al Gore, he's not the most charismatic of people. Mm, I mean, the debates, he, he did a lot of gaffes. He talked about lockbox too much. He mentioned lockbox, lockbox, almost every single question. And I don't know why he did that. Especially talking about social security and putting it in a lockbox. And I think the lockbox stuff is not going to help him and probably uh, in the polls, we did see a, a dip actually, so I think the lockbox stuff was a bad position by him. But yeah, you know what, let's go uh, to Gore uh, for a second. So for Gore, in California, I know, I know you've noticed that California is not likely. RCP projects that California will be a bush win by 2%. I don't know why they're saying that. I mean, the polls do say it's going to be 3% to 10, to 9%. And maybe, maybe George Bush is able to get some of those uh, voters from his father that made him win California back in 1988. And uh, maybe we could see California being quite close. I wouldn't be surprised by that. California will still go for Gore, but it could be closer than what most expect. And now for Washington. I another state in the west coast. Polling on RCP does say it's going to be a bush win by 4% or maybe likely R. But there, I've seen some other polling recently and it does say that uh, it's probably going to be like Gore by 1-4% to and I agree with that. I mean, I don't know why they're putting 4% when there's not even a single George Bush winning uh, poll here. 
think Washington will be close, but still, the only way a Washington California flip is if uh, Ralph Nader gets more than 10% of the vote, which could happen. But we will see. Still, I do have these states going for Gore. And now for a call that I heavily disagree with. Uh, RCP in Minnesota. They believe Minnesota will go to George Bush by 2%. And uh, Rasmussen thinks it's going to be a tie, but uh, Minnesota has been such a stronghold for Democrats. I mean, even Mondale still won against Reagan just uh, 16 years ago, so I don't see a reason for Bush to defeat uh, Gore in Minnesota unless it's an absolute landslide. I have this as lean D, but who knows, maybe George Bush is gonna win all, maybe like 45 states, uh, we will see. And now for Gore's home state of Tennessee, so... Tennessee, I mean, I don't think RCP and most pollsters think right on this, I think the home state advantage is going to be even bigger than what the polls are saying. So in Tennessee, uh, most pollsters do say it's going to be a narrow bush win, but it is his home state. I think uh, we haven't seen uh, someone lose their home state since McGovern, for example, and I don't think it's going to be an absolute landslide. I mean, I don't think so, but I mean, the polls do say it's going to be very close to election, and I think uh, Al Gore will win his home state. The state that he was a senator just before the vice presidency. And yeah, he should win here. I'm just not sure by the margin, but uh, I think uh, Gore will win Tennessee and like what the polls are saying. And now uh, for Maine, so uh, Maine, uh, I think uh, it's going to be a lean D in these areas. I'm just not sure about the second district. I think that's going to be really tough to predict. RCP does say it's going to be a Bush victory. I don't know why in Maine. Some of these polls are not that good, so... I assume they think uh, Ralph Nader will get more of the vote, but I still think it's gonna be a Democrat victory here. I'm just not sure about the second district. I would agree that Bush would win Maine easily, but because of the DUI thing back when he was young, I think that's that, that did hurt him in the polls a lot, so... Uh-huh, just uh, lean D here for those areas, for these areas in the country. Uh-huh. And now for the lean states for Bush, so for the first one, it has to be Ohio. So in Ohio, a lot of the polls uh, do say it, should, it could even be a likely R victory for George Bush in Ohio. Uh, for example, RCP believes uh, George Bush will win here by a margin of 8%, almost a double-digit margin. Although, you know, these polls uh, recently do say it's going to be around 4 to 6%, and I think... I think um, Bush is more suited to the South and all these sections of the country more, but yeah, I think um, he should win Ohio by a decent margin. And now for Missouri, another state that went to Bill Clinton, uh, Bush is projected to win here by, uh, huh, huh, where is it? Missouri, there we go. It's, he's projected to win here by 7% in RCP's uh, call. Uh-huh, because uh, there's also the Carnahan debacle, which if you didn't know, Carnahan sadly passed away in mid-October uh, from a plane crash, so I don't know, we will have to see what happens there. Maybe it helps uh, Democrats since he was a uh, Democrat. Uh, we will see what happens in the Missouri Senate race, but yeah, sad stuff, man. Uh, RCP does say that uh, the Missouri River will be quite good, and Missouri, the whole state, will bring its 11 of troll votes to the Bush and Cheney ticket in 2000. And I agree with that, polls do say it's gonna be either likely R or lean D, and yeah, I think that that's gonna be good enough for him. Well, for another state, so for a state that is very close to George Bush, I think New Mexico will actually go for Bush. In 2000, I think, you know, him being the governor of Texas will help a lot. It's also, don't forget that George Bush back in his uh, election for governor, he did quite well, quite well with Mexican Americans, so I think uh, we could see him do very good with Mex Mexican Americans uh, nationally. And uh, yeah, New Mexico will be one of those states where Bush does very well in. And yeah, I think RCP actually has this as a likely R victory, but uh, I'm more cautious. Uh, let's go to I think. Uh, let's see. I think let's go to Florida. Uh, Florida, according to RCP big states so there's a lot of polling here I mean you have some pollsters saying Gore is gonna be one here by 
two or three percent then there's other pollsters like rasmussen and dixon that say three to four rcp for the for their projections say it's gonna be a bush victory by a likely margin and i agree that you know florida they do like bushes a lot i mean jeb bush popular governor i think he's gonna help him a lot uh you know jeb is you know uh george's brother by the way <laughs> also don't forget the the Elian Gonzalez debacle from the Clinton administration could back could come back to haunt Al Gore, and I think that's also one of the reasons why it's gonna be an easier victory for Bush here. You also can't forget that Bush did quite well at you know answering questions in the debate. Uh, for example, on you know reforms to Social Security and Medicare, basically just tax cuts, and I think tax cuts the way he said it will help. Uh, him in some of these states uh, uh while gore i think he said he wants to put them into education so i think that's gonna help in more deeper states uh deep blue states so and i think uh, that jeb bush's popularity could trickle down to governor bush's uh victory and yeah i think it shouldn't be a problem for him to win here i mean heck i could even see him winning here by a safe margin if uh RCP is correct and maybe you know we see more turnout from the Republican base but for now and for my final projection I have this as a highly R victory for Bush. And now to Iowa. Iowa. So Iowa according to RCP real clear politics should be almost a uh, likely R victory. I mean there's uh, some pollsters here that do say one says Gore's winning by eight some saying by six but I think uh, Gore's poor decision making the campaign and all the things he has said said will come back to hurt him uh, I think uh, should be a lean R victory here for Bush I think Bush even though he does gaff a lot saying things like a uh, strategy at the end of the day he does you know I mean I don't know he's not as, he's not charismatic but he's friendly though you know you, you kind of get what I'm saying he's friendly but yeah that's that's it for the lean states and let's go to the tilt states so in Arkansas I think uh, Gore's decision to not stick by Bill Clinton more uh, closely will come back to haunt him I think if he would have stuck more closer to Bill Clinton this would be an easy victory for the Democrats here but he has not decided to stick with him so and it's also because you know Governor Bush has has a lot of southern appeal as well so uh yeah big problem for democrats in arkansas while in new hampshire new hampshire rcp says this will be an easy victory for al gore in this state i think uh this is one of the areas where uh joe lieberman will be able to win so rcp does say bush will win here by two although most posters do point to uh gore winning here handily by like three to four percent Joe Lieberman will help Al Gore quite a lot here, especially with a northeastern appeal. And I believe uh, New Hampshire will go to Al Gore and Senator Lieberman by a till margin. I'm not sure by how much, but it's gonna be close, but still a Democrat victory. And now for one of my hottest takes in this election. I know some of you guys will come after me, and I probably will, will regret this, but I believe the second district of Maine will actually go to George W. Bush in 2000. I think the polls are going to be half correct and half wrong. The second district has always been less Democrats and with Maine being this close, I think you can expect for one of these districts uh, to go to Bush. I think we're going to see a split delegation and an electoral vote count in 2000. I know some of you guys are going to come out against me on this, but this is my take on this. Deal with it. And now to the Rust Belt. So michigan let's go uh look for michigan uh-huh where's michigan at so psh, there we go so michigan uh rcp projects that michigan will go to bush will go to bush by four percent which is which is a take i guess uh pennsylvania they do think it's gonna be the same margin for bush bush won by four percent even though even though the polls point to either gore barely leading there or just uh, a toss up well for Wisconsin now Wisconsin it's gonna be very close I think but they think it's gonna be a Bush win by 4% but there's been other polls that they don't show here that do think that do show uh, Gore winning these states <sighs> let's see Michigan I think it's gonna go to Gore barely 
with uh, Pennsylvania, we'll go to Gore barely think that uh, you could make an argument that Bush is more of a pacifist than Al Gore. I mean, if you look back into the debates, you could say that Bush's statement on nation building in Somalia and Bosnia clearly show his intentions to be more uh, pacifist and being more America first in some ways. Which is interesting because he actually outflanks uh, Al Gore and that uh, sort of stuff, so... Which makes sense because, you know, he doesn't have that much foreign policy ideas and he probably wants there to be peace in the future. So that's pretty good at least. Uh, we will likely have a peaceful four to eight years globally and that's gonna be good for everyone. Uh, Wisconsin, I still think it's gonna go to, go to Gore. Perhaps we could see some of these states go to Bush because of his more dovish than average uh, Republican answers on foreign policy, but... I think the Rust Belt still goes for uh, Gore as it, has it, as it has done in the past. And now for the final state to decide this election for Oregon. So RCP projects that Oregon will go to Bush by almost a likely margin. Even though other pollsters do say that it's going to be very close. I do have to agree that I believe Texas Governor George W. Bush and former Secretary of Defense Dick Cheney will defeat Vice President Gore and Senator Lieberman not only in Oregon but nationwide. But yeah, don't worry too much whether you support Gore or Bush. I think both candidates will be good for the future. Uh, I think both of them will focus on more stuff here in, in America rather than meddling in the Middle East uh, or nation building in other countries in the third world. And the Cold War is over as well, and this new millennium will hopefully bring peace and prosperity globally in the near future. And I think I'm, I'm very hopeful of what the future could bring. And, and yeah, I think uh, Governor Bush and former Secretary Dick Cheney won with 276 electoral votes, while Vice President Gore and Senator Lieberman got 200 and 62 electoral votes. Thank you for watching. Feel free to leave a like, join the channel membership, and see you next time.